Hey friends, this is Miss Rachel. I'm going to be reading you a story today. So the story that we're going to read is called ABC Zooborns. So what do you think a zooborn is? It looks like it's going to be about baby animals. Do you know which baby animal this is? This is a baby koala bear. So let's read some more about the zooborns in this book. A is for anteater. I slurp up snacks with my extra long tongue. Anyone for ants? Yum. B is for baboon. Bananas are the best, and this one's all mine. C is for cheetah. You found my secret hiding place. Shh, don't tell anyone. What's the baboon doing? Looks like he's about to eat that banana. D is for Dole. Don't you wish your peepers were as dreamy as mine? I've never heard of an animal called a Dole before. What kind of animal do you think it looks like? E is for Elephant. We elephants love playing ball. Heads up, it's my turn to kick. F is for Flamingo. My fluffy gray feathers will soon turn pink, just like my papa's. So what do you know about an elephant? What's this elephant doing? G is for giraffe. I may be six feet tall, but next to my mom, I'm still tiny. For now, that is. H is for hippopotamus. Calling all water babies, it's playtime in my pool. I is for Impala. Impala. <laughs> Our long legs are perfect for leaping. Let's go for a run. J is for Jaguar. I'm on the prowl for some grub. It's dinner time. K is for Koala. I was born to cuddle. Mom's furry hug is just so snug. What do you think will come next? What letter comes after K? Let's find out. L is for lion. So sleepy, eyes droopy. Love my furry crash pad. M is for marmoset. Please don't tell anyone. I'm monkeying around with all my food. N is for Nyala. Sometimes I nuzzle my mama when I feel shy. O is for otter. We otter boys are sneaky. Better watch out, we might sneak up on you. P is for panda. Phew, I'm flat out pooped from playing with my panda pals. Q is for quail. Even at my puffiest, I'm still quite petite. R is right for rhinoceros. We wrinkly rhinos are on the move. Follow us to the lo local watering hole. S is for sloth. Oh, it's siesta time. Is it siesta time yet? He looks like he's ready for a nap. T is for taper. Well, hello there. I thought I smelled something sweet. U is for Eurula Owl. I wonder what's for dinner. Mice would be nice. V is for Vicuña. Mama loves sniffing and smooching my silky soft fur. W is for Wombat. After a big day of digging, I'm all tuckered out. X is for X-ray Tetra. Attention, science students. My see-through body is very revealing. Y is for yak. Time for me to kick up my heels and hightail at home. See you all later. Z is for, look, there's no animal on the Z page. I wonder why it's different. Hmm, let's see what it's, what's gonna be on the next page.
Z is for Zooborns. Oh, that was the title of our story. All right, so I want you guys to pick your favorite animal that was in this story, and I want you to talk about what letter it starts with and draw a picture of that animal and write the letter that the animal starts with on your picture.